Pussy in Boots. It was told of a grinder left all his fortune before his death to his three sons. He gave the mill to the eldest, his donkey to the middle one, and his cat to the youngest, Samir. Samir wasn't that happy and kept saying day and night. What could I possibly do with a cat? One day, while Samir was walking with his cat in the forest, the cat fell in a river, so Samir hurried and saved him. The cat looked at his master in a grateful way and said, I will surely find a way to make you rich. The cat then put on his shoes, took a bag full of wheat, and went into the woods. There he spread the wheat on the ground and hid behind a bush. The wild rabbits came out of their burrows to eat the wheat, so the cat jumped on one of them and put it in the bag. Afterwards, the cat went to the governor's palace and gave him the rabbit in the name of his master, the noble Qasim. On another day in the forest, the cat said to Samir, Master, the governor's carriage will pass by here. If you want to become a nobleman, take off your clothes and go in the water of this lake, and I'll take care of the rest. Samir agreed in amazement. When the governor's carriage approached, the cat started to scream loudly. Help! Help! The thief stole my master's clothes and he cannot go out of the water. So the governor ordered his servants to bring the nicest clothes to the so-called nobleman. Then the governor asked him to sit on his right in the carriage, which continued on its way to the palace. <laughs> During this time, the cat walked in front of the carriage, and each time he met someone from the village, he told him, if the governor asks you about the land, say, it belongs to the nobleman Kassam, and I'll reward you generously. The governor expressed his surprise at how much land of the nobleman Kassam had. Every time he was told this or that field belonged to the nobleman, his joy increased. Finally, the carriage reached the governor's palace. Afterwards, the cat went to see the gull, who lived in a small palace near the lake. The gull was the real owner of all the fields of wheat that the governor passed by. The cat said to the gull, Your great majesty, I came to offer my obedience. Your fame has reached the sky, and I was told that you have an extraordinary capability. You can change into a lion. Is that true? The gull answered. This is an easy thing. Watch. At once, the gull became a ferocious lion. The cat pretended to be scared and shouted. You have scared me, your majesty. But I don't think you can change into an animal smaller than a lion. Such as a... Uh, a mouse, for example? The gull laughed in pride and said, Ha ha ha! Watch me closely! And the lion turned quickly into a little mouse. That minute, the smart cat took his sword and gave the mouse a deadly stab. This way, all the lands that belonged to the Gaul became those of the nobleman Qasim. The governor was pleased with Samir and expressed his admiration of Samir's big fortune. Samir later asked the hand of the governor's daughter, Sausan, for marriage, and the governor was happy to accept. The marriage was celebrated in a big ceremony. 
As for the smart cat, he was made the governor's advisor. <laughs>